Alright guys, welcome back to Fieldcraft Catties. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a natty build to hunt video. Not the greatest natty, slightly uneven forks, they go off a little bit, but it's the best out of the four I got for what I want to do. Um, obviously, you want to shoot 90mm wide, and this fork also can cover 90mm nicely in a comfortable sort of way as well. Now, I'm not entirely sure what to do. If I could just shade them all down nicely and all that, and um, it's slap some what's it called like bang grooves in it and bob's your uncle and i got a frame but it's a little bit too boring so ideally i want to try and incorporate shotgun shells into it whether it's just a 12 gauge 20 4 10 whatever but i've also noticed we have got what's maybe a bit of spalting that could mean there's some good grain underneath this a bit of moss on there so it could mean it is it's proper dry like yeah, I reckon I've got the chess cam and a microphone. I've got the microphone connected, so I don't know if audio quality is going to be any good. But I might like just connect the audio, stick it on the POV thing, and just get to it. Hopefully it's alright. Hopefully you like it. It's quite dark out, like so if I turn the light off, too dark to make a video, hence the light. So yeah, it's just going to be a good bit of fun, seeing if we can get it done, seeing if we can hopefully get something with it as well. Right, so what I reckon I'm going to do first is just sort of mark out where about 90mm is and then probably mark out about 100mm. I don't even know where my other natural is, but just thinking. Yeah, I'm going to want to like flatten the size, plus we've got to account for bark and everything. So... I reckon just about. Thing is, I also want it to be semi level in the hand, but it can't be too level in the hand. Just gotta be a bit of like an ergonomic grip. So I'm gonna hold it like. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, hold it like that. My arm's extended, that's going to be level there, going to be there, 90 mil. Just move it up, try and keep it remotely level. Probably. Oh, there is where you want it. Draw lines on there, hope they show up. Nice, fresh, sharpened pencil. Don't know if you can see that, but it is sharp. Nice. Good old tape roll to cut. Oh, I don't miss the sniper thing. The cut here, got to find a saw. Don't have my good saw here, but this should do. So, because like when I move this thing shakes loads, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it off and do some sanding real quick off camera and then turn it on and show you where I'm at. So, I did do I got a bit carried away off camera, but um, I sanded it down, carved some more out of it, and then 
what I've done is I've added this here. If I get into the sunlight a bit, you can see how it all, it all goes like that. So when it's in my hand, my finger will go in it like that and wrapped around. Obviously, it's more odd on. Switch hands because I hold my hand and hold the frame in my right hand. It'll go like that. That goes in there. All of them sit in there nicely. And then that one down there fits absolutely perfectly into the palm of my hand. Look at that. Everything fits amazingly. All fits really, really nice. Now, I have got like a small void here and obviously this big bit at the bottom. And I reckon what I'm going to do with both of them, this bottom needs sanding back yet. Yeah, uh, it's leveled off, sanded back, and then I'm going to maybe mix up some black resin. I'm not entire, It's probably going to have to be black resin. And then stick it all, like, make sort of mould things, stick it on there, send it back, and then fill up that as well. Or, yeah, probably resin, to be fair, probably going to be the best thing. And, um... Yeah, just I might even just use clear resin. Yeah, clear resin. I does I have found does quite does look quite alright on frames like this. It doesn't draw the attention to it like a big blob of black would. But yeah, still need to go over a bit of one eighty. Is it there? Is there still some pretty pretty hefty grain lines in there from the sandpaper? So yeah, I'm just gonna go over it with the one eighty, and then talk to you about what I'm gonna do next. I reckon. Alright, so I've just started the whole bang groove process. I've like sanded it all and it is looking incredible. It's out just a tiny bit there. A bit annoyed, but it is what it is, I suppose. And um but I was thinking I haven't used a single power tool in this so far. So oh you close to see I sort of patched that up and patched a hole at there and sanded it. I just gotta sand that bit that bit down now. Looks much better now. But um yeah, I, this is literally a hand tool only build so far, which I'm proper happy at. So I'm just going to continue with the whole flow, not use any hand tools on it. And, um, no, not use any power tools on it, only hand tools. And just, yeah, I really, I, I'm actually quite impressed with this so far. It went from something being, it was probably going to be a one time shooter to me, it might be a bit more. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping I can def definitely shoot it well enough. It's bang on 90 mil as well, which I'm happy with. My biggest thing is this fork tip, so they're just small little fork tips, but it is what it is, unfortunately. So we're just going to do a bit more work to it, get these band grooves in. And then, um, yeah, I'll just show probably ready for oil, maybe a couple couple more touches. But, yeah, just look at that grain really popping with the finer sanding. Cannot wait to shoot this. Just sort of tell you how I'm doing the band grooves. As you can see, this, this one's done, nicely rounded, whereas that bottom one... Still a bit of a V shape. So what I'm doing is I'm using this file. It's a metal file. Works absolutely fine for wood. Going through it as a V. Then using this little round file. And going through it. And that is making it that circle right there. Exactly what we like. Alright, there's one side done. Nice deep band grooves. Really hold that band in. No slipping. Now I might, might see if I can set up the camera and time lapse it. You'll know. Because the next clip will be either a time lapse of me doing it. Or when they're already finished. We've got our bang grooves in all the way around. And as you can see it's like a bit of a, a bit of a burr almost, it's quite sharp. Fine sandpaper, 180, literally just run it out a little bit wider than these grooves. Just all the way around, and all that does is just removes the burr and ever so slightly rounds them. Just rounds them enough that you won't go cutting your bands when...
finish the finish frame. Lindsay varnish. Uh, it's all watertight and everything. I put some 0.6 sniper sling on it. Uh, 2015 taper. The only reason I put a sniper sling green instead of the muck minty is just because it just looks a bit better on this dark natural. Just fits a lot better. The shiny fresh 8.7 millimeter steels. Gonna take it out to the garden now and uh, do some shots. 30 millimeter spinner. See if we can get our iron on it. So also from Ball and Roller, ballandrollerstore.com, got a brand new pot of 8.7 millimeter steels. Cause they're all shiny, ready for the season. Very very excited to try them out. It's got well, not even try them out. Just to choose actual shiny ones again. So slightly rusty ones. But um, yeah, we're gonna we've got all banded. You've seen it now. We're gonna take it out of the garden, have a few shots at the 30 millimeter spinner, and. See where our anchor point is, see if we can get our iron with it quick enough. Alright, we've got it all banded up 0.6 sniper sling, 8.7mm steels, and we're going to take it out for a little mooch. I'm not going to do too much film with just the surroundings, I'm just going to try and get a couple kills on camera and, um, yeah, I might I might just do a couple clips of just me walking, but I don't really want to go filling up the video and making it boring for you lot. But um, yeah, gonna head out there now. Hopefully, get something. First one of the day so far. Look at that. Oh yeah, that in the bag, first bit for our meal. Like very successful mooch with this natty. We had I think we had like two two or three pigeons and two squirrels. We got what I could on camera, some I couldn't get on, but this natty is certainly something I'm gonna shoot throughout the season. And I did film this I ha I am filming this before the pheasant season, but it might be released during it, so happy pheasant season. There is a video on pheasants coming out very soon. But yeah, I reckon I'm gonna be shooting this throughout it because it is an absolute unit of a little frame. And um, yeah, let me know what you want to see next and thank you very much for watching.